And we continue our focus on East Portland ahead of the April 4 by election. Now, more than $8 billion have been allocated in the 2019-2020 budget for road improvement in St. Thomas and Portland. But until the works are actually completed, East Portland residents say they continue to be burdened by bad roads and no running water. It's a common stress for transport operators in East Portland. The constant changing of car parts caused mainly by this, bad roads. Not a good boy road. Not a good boy road at all. This is the Springbank community. Residents tell us the roads here reflect those in most areas in Portland due to decades of neglect. Oh, even hope my way, Lord, it's terrible, terrible. Hope winds of Paris uh, road yeah, go up. It from Fair Prospect School go up. It's very, very bad, 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 it can't bother. We need, we need more to be done to it, we need. It's really terrible. The taxi operators aren't the only ones feeling it, but farmers too. When we think them can't get to come out of the, of the farm, because the vehicle them not coming up the, up here. Because uh -huh. far long enough time enough we carry a load. Some route taxis have stopped plying sections of the community, leaving residents with two options, walking. And we tired like hell when we come up for work, when we have to walk, come up. So you know, say it's hard. And chartering a taxi. The people's other cry, no water in their taps. We'll have to chuck through a little area down there and go to a very spring, a spring that is there and it's, it's good, it's good spring water, you know, if they could even do something with that water and let it flow through the rest of the village, that would be good. Last year, we featured several other communities in the constituency facing a water crisis. And from all indications, nothing much has changed. Instead, the people continue to use the natural resources to bathe, wash, cook and clean.